everyone. Um, today is Tuesday, and today it's um, a very unusual team. Um, I'm just making fun of you. So, first of all, uh, the videos last week were really cool, and um, it was fun to see all of you and see T dance the Zumba, which was hilarious, and I love it. And just so much mojo, so much mojo. Yeah, it's a fun project. So, the theme today is um, if I won 1 million euros. First of all, because I am true to my own stereotype, I am Jewish and therefore will not spend all of my money. I will instead keep it, because that is what Jewish people do, they keep the money. I have no idea what to do with it. Um, went to a shop and goes, I've got 1 million euros to spend. Nobody does that. Following Julia. I would probably give some to a cause. But then again, I'm not really keen on, you know, all those charity stuff. I mean, at some point, there are some priorities, and I honestly believe that things like medical research or things to improve the quality of life for people who have um, less things for a third world. And the problem is, like, 1 million euros won't get you far, but a starting fund giving out a starting fund for research or for a project. Taking the example of the Swiss doctor who was with Doctors Without Borders and went to Cambodia and decided to um, build a hospital for children. And so a cause like that, if you want to check out who that guy is, I'll link someone. I would want to indulge myself in one little thing being I love, love, love hovercrafts. It's a very weird thing. Uh, you go in water, you can go in the ground, and you sort of hovers um, upwards, and you can, you know, ride it and be like, oh, I've got a hovercraft. The problem is, it's actually really loud because there's a giant, um, well, see the picture, giant ventilator behind to actually propel it. But it's so cool, and uh, the first time I heard of it, because I was playing Diddy Kong Racing, which is a Nintendo 64 game. Wow. That music makes me so nostalgic. Someday I will get my hovercraft. <laughs> I also want to do this. Yes, I know this is a very cliche sort of thing, but I've always looked up to that character. I didn't really like the three little nephews or Donald Duck, but I really love the Uncle Scrooge, because I really like money. Nobody, not many people will actually tell you, oh, I love money. <laughs> I'm a materialistic bitch. I can be. I just, I've always, um, always, always, always put money on the side ever since I was this big, because I really believe in saving money. I really said she wanted to buy a house maybe sometime, someday. Um, probably try and do that someday, although I've never lived in a house, so probably will go to my comfort zone and buy an apartment. I would want to travel. Me, of course, is gonna help my parents, obviously, um, with like paying, you know, with the apartment or with anything they need, and my brother and sister and family and everyone who might need me. If it's too much, I'll probably give everything to a cause or something, because um, there is something very worrying with having too much or something, uh, with be power or money or, you know, influence, and it makes me uncomfortable. So yeah, I'd probably end up, you know, not keeping much of it. Anyway, that was fun, so um, goodbye. Uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's video, Kelly. And um, hi everyone, and it's been a pleasure, and I'm gonna go back to studying now, and um, love you all!